So I thought I would show you uh, what's inside my big bin of camping gear. This is my girlfriend's pack here. It's empty right now, but it's the LLB Celia Day Pack. I think this is like 2,000 cubic units, but she puts quite a bit of stuff in here. The heavy stuff that I don't want to carry. I'm just kidding, of course. Gotta have the main gadget here. And we've bought a couple of these flannel lined reversible pillows from L.O. Bean. Not that happy with them, really. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, they just don't feel that comfortable at night time. But they just kind of flip inside out. I'm sure you've seen something like this before, but I don't know. It's not that much of a support for me, especially for the weight and the amount that it takes up inside the pack. So here's another one. We don't really use those very often. Here's my MSR pot. This is a lock and lift pot. Usually if I bring this, I'll put my stove, whether it's the alcohol stove and the fuel, or else just my MSR pocket rocket inside of this. Or else some food that I want to keep dry. The way this kind of locks down and keeps whatever is inside of it nice and dry. So I use this. Of course the bug spray. This is my own little invention here. I wrap some duct tape around the outside and put it through a carabiner. And so it just kind of clips onto a backpack uh, on the outside. That way I don't have to have the risk of this inside of my pack and have it spray. That wouldn't be very good to get inside my food or on some clothes. Let's take a look here. If I can find a cover to this. This is a pot that I made. I don't see the cover right now, but uh, just made from a fruit container. And this is my tea light stove. And pretty much it's just some mesh around the tea light, uh, which is empty, with the tin foil on the bottom. The stove, the stove sits right there. And this tin foil wraps around it, kind of block the wind, and this has a boil time of just about five minutes with two ounces of fuel and put a cup of water. This is my trusty uh, DMT Diamond Whetstone. I've only used this a couple of times. They say it's pretty good even for a fisherman who uses it every day. It lasts them about a year, so I'm sure this will last me probably 30 years. Uh, just kind of messed around with some Heineken stoves. I made this own little design here. I just pretty much took a Heineken can, cut some holes in the bottom, set the other Heineken can on top, which has the top cut off. And that boils water just about as quick as the other stove does. This is my new buck knife. I got this not too long ago this summer because I lost my red Leatherman and I could not find it in the grass for about three weeks. It just has one little switch here and uh, it's half serrated, and I hope that if I lose this one, it's going to be yellow and bright and I'll be able to find it. But it's nice and nice, pretty sharp. Got a bunch of paracord. Rope will save your life, so you got to have lots of that. Don't buy the junk paracord from Walmart. I could probably break this with my hands right now if I tried. Cheap. A bunch of tea lights for some more projects. This is the Katahdin Pro Hiker Water Filter. I'm sure most of you have seen this before. We have the basic pump, the tubing. This part goes inside an algae, right? This hooks up the pump. The pump itself has this part that dangles in the water. This tube goes into the pump and filters it as it goes into the algae. I don't know how much exactly it pumps per minute, but I mean I can fill probably three Nalgene's in like two minutes really quick. I don't have many of my clothes in here, but this is just a pair of L.L. Bean uh, Buzz Off insect repellent pants. Uh, I pretty much wear these every time I go hiking. They work great. They get a little hot and I can zip the legs off. Not the most fashionable statement, but it works for the outdoors. These are my MSR, or I'm sorry, uh, my Marmot Preset pants. Uh, these have worked awesome, whether it's in the snow or uh, on a rainy summer day. No way you're going to get wet wearing these. These are my uh, OR Gators. I got these from someone actually on the backpacker.com website. Uh, these have worked perfect. There's no way snow's going to get into your boots. 
for tracking through any kind of fluffy snow wearing these. Uh, these are some LL Bean Gore-Tex mittens I got. Uh, I've lost the liner, but again, these are waterproof. No way you're going to get cold or wet in these babies. Again, some more stuff sacks. This is a stuff sack full of stuff sacks. Who doesn't have one of these? This is just some more clothing inside a Sea to Summit bag. Uh, some basic uh, base layers, midweight and heavyweight. Some LL Bean rag wool socks. These are probably the warmest and most comfortable socks you ever wear. Uh, let's see, another Z Life pad, like I promised you would probably see. My girlfriend's pad. <clears throat> Never have enough fuel canisters. I like to mark on them if they're new. Sometimes I'll bring one back and uh, you know I want to make sure when I grab another one next time it's the used one so I can finish it off. As you can see, this one's probably been used. So now I get a gift card to LL Bean. Stock up on some of these guys here. This is actually some uh, Thai Power, just like Tyvek. I mean, this thing's ultra lightweight, a lot better than buying a footprint for a tent. Um, I mean, it folds up to absolutely nothing. This weighs probably a few ounces. And this is 100% waterproof, and it costs nothing at all. So it's a lot better than paying 40 bucks for a footprint. Uh, charger for my radio scanner. Some sock liners. All right. This is a cheap Energizer headlamp I bought at Walmart like three years ago. Can't really beat this thing. That's, uh, what, $15 maybe in this last. I don't know, I've used this so many times I can't even remember. I have three of them. Here's some pepper spray. I got this at Cabela's. I support uh, L.L. Bean, so I don't buy uh, too much at Cabela's. I went to Cabela's. This is the only thing that I can find besides some candy. This sprays, I think, up to 15 or 20 feet, and it's like five bucks. Hopefully I never have to use this, but uh, kind of a neat little thing to say you have. Uh, we have a couple of these just simple uh, egg crate pads. I'd rather fold this in half and use it as a pillow, uh, except for using one of those pillows down there. I don't like those. I like to use these. Uh, you can put them in the bottom of your hiking pack, and they can press down if you put you know, your sleeping bag, your tent on top of them. It's pretty much like you have nothing even in your bag. Um, here's that cover I was looking for. It is just a bag. Tent my uh, bag my tent came in. A bunch of random stuff. Knot tying kit from LL Bean. 50 different knots. It's kind of a game, but it's kind of fun to practice with. Practicing some of your camping knots. Some extra tent stakes. A broom and dustpan for your tent. This thing comes right out of here, somehow. Can't say I've really used this before, but I've heard you don't want to put away your tent with rocks in it or else you're going to get a hole in it. There we go. But it's got something kind of handy. This only weighs, I don't know, four or five ounces. I don't usually carry it with me on some car camping, but kind of neat. Um, here are the things for my lucky pools that I was talking about, the winter, the winter uh, pads. That way you don't sink down in the snow so far. Here's a good old knife my uncle gave to me. Use this on the trail quite a bit. Cutting rope or whatnot. Good uh, lock knife. Okay. Uh, let's see, just a couple of bandanas. Uh, carabiners, stuff like that. Nothing too important. Map for Baxter State Park. Best place to go in Maine. A couple of camelbacks. Can't leave home without these full of water. And then of course you're gonna have to carry the face mask, the baklava. Definitely protects your face from those cold main winds. And a couple of my recent purchases I wanted to show you here from LL Bean. This is the Mini World Band Radio. Um, and this weighs nothing at all either. It's digital. Uh, comes in really good if you get it on a real channel. And uh, just nice to carry, perhaps, if you're camping. Right now, I just use it in the bathroom. It's almost as good as camping. And I bought this 18 ounce thermos from LL Bean. I used this last weekend to get my beverage cold. 
on about 40 degree weather for eight hours when I poured my last cup of tea, it was still steaming. And then lastly, of course, you can't use Nalgene's anymore because they're gonna kill you. I had to get a SIG bottle. And of course, I have to have all my stickers on the outside, the MSR, Camelback, GSI, Petzl, Leatherman, Thermarest. Uh, works pretty good, not gonna get cancer. Uh, it's probably one of the best hats that I've used for the outdoors. It has the wind block, uh, ear liner, mountain hardware. Works perfect. I just bought this down jacket today. It's 800 down. Uh, it's the Marmot Zeus jacket. This thing's amazing. I mean, I'm hardly feeling that I'm holding anything here at all. Very lightweight, very warm. It was 17 degrees. I went for an hour walk tonight. Stayed completely warm. And of course, you can't forget the LL Bean Mad Bomber hat. This thing will keep you warm all winter long. We'll see you next time.